it has been nearly two months since I did my last video on 3's Super Voice voiceover LTE switch on. So today I'm going to be covering what has changed over the past two months. And the simple answer is, not very much. So they've increased the coverage of the 4G800, however the uh, carrier reselection criteria is still set with the 4G800 which carries the voice over LTE set below that of 3G. So you have to be in an area with no 3G signal in order to connect to it unless you have a phone which allows manual band selection. So the other thing that's changed is that more phones are currently supported. So at release it was limited to the Samsung Galaxy S5 but now you can connect to it if you've got an S6, an S6 Edge or an LG G4. However, once again, in order to use the VO LTE, you need to be using a phone with the 3 ROM on it. So realistically the device has to be bought from a 3 store. So that means that certainly people who are on SIM only plans who have like previously unlocked their phones for example, cannot use the voice over LTE. Now I guess further going on to what I was saying about band selection, the LG G4 is really the best phone for doing this, for doing 800 megahertz certainly testing, because it allows you to lock the phone onto the 800 megahertz band and therefore you can yeah basically stay on the voice over LTE and then not drop back to 3G so you're on the sort of single technology the whole time. And as the coverage is so great, I've heard of people just using it to go across like whole counties, just being able to stream even video over it, because the coverage is so great from each mask that the phone isn't having to hop so often. And I guess that leads fairly well onto the speed. Now, 3 only has 2 by 5 megahertz on the 800 megahertz band, which is not great for speed or network capacity so the absolutely absolute maximum speed you can get from like a device using the 800 megahertz band is around about the 40 megabit per second mark and that's with no one else using that cell tower it's typical speeds i've seen are around the 10 to 15 maybe 20 megabit per second mark but compared to say the 1800 megahertz frequency that 3 use and like say EE use, you know you're not going to be getting the 100 megabit per second plus speeds that you'd get using sort of the other bands. 3 is definitely using the 800 megahertz band to ensure very large coverage at speed sufficient for normal phone use, not for example downloading massive games. So I guess the really big thing for 3 to do at the moment is to fix the selection criteria so more devices can get on it. In fact the most odd thing is that mobile broadband devices which can't make or receive calls can't even connect to the 800 megahertz service and in some ways mobile broadband sort of dongles and MiFi's are almost sort of the ideal use for this. And of course the absolute big killer for a lot of people is iPhone support. Um, 3 do not currently have voice over LTE support for any iPhones, in fact I'm pretty certain they had planned to have iPhone supported by sort of mid-October, but clearly we're at the beginning of November now and there aren't really any signs, so I hope they get on to that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I have quite a few others on cellular networking like spectrum refarming sort of phone mask setups and antennas and stuff so if you look at the playlist below some of the videos might be of interest